Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. Yeah. It is true. We're trying to grow our TikTok at the moment. I know we're too old to be on TikTok, or two of us are. But uh, Try rubbing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it at least grows an extra two subscribers when I rub it. Um, yeah, so just go and follow us on TikTok. It's the Office Blokes. If we ever end up getting a strike, hopefully not on this channel, but we have done twice already. We will have content coming out on TikTok every day. So it's just a little backup for us, isn't it? Yeah, backup plan. Yeah, Why we not? do appreciate it. We're trying to become TikTok stars, aren't we? Viral TikTok <laughs> sensations. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. You never yeah, know. We can live in a TikTok mansion together and get up to TikTok. Together. Right now, then. That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they do. Uh, right, Bill Burr. We've not done any Bill Burr stand up for a long time. Yeah, I it is a bit wild, isn't it? sort of thought we'd, we'd done it all, but obviously. I don't think we've done it all. I don't think we have. In fact, I know we haven't. We've not, we've not even touched on Paper Tiger, mm. but I've watched all of that on Netflix yeah. oh, a few, right, a few okay. times, actually. Yeah. But we yeah. need to get into a bit more, don't we? Fat People and McDonald's, two things I know nothing about. So uh, this would be an interesting <laughs> one. Bill, uh, <laughs> Fat People and McDonald's, let's do it. Get to the ladies talking about body issues. They're always talking about body issues. That's the dumbest one ever. When they talk about Hollywood going like, Hollywood, they, they create these impossible body images, blah, blah, blah. You know, that whole thing, the plus size actress, right? The fatties. Yeah, that's like a big thing. They're, they're sick of being treated like fat people. I don't know what it is they're doing. They're going on the cover of magazines now, just like showing how fat they are, wearing a little bit amount of clothes. And everybody's like hyping them up, like, oh my God, that's so brave. That's so courageous. I'm not saying it doesn't take balls, but that's a bit of an overreach with the word brave, right? Like, what am I supposed to do if I ever see a fireman running out of a building carrying a baby and an old lady? Am I going to sit there like, oh, my God, you're like a fat actress. Take a shirt off to do a magazine shoot to promote the movie she's in. Now, look, I know you're not supposed to make fun of fat people. I understand, all right? I don't know why, though. <laughs> they're not a race, they're not a religion. It's totally curable. Eat an apple and go for a walk. You know? Why are you yelling at everybody else? The fuck are you giving me shit for? All right, you put the cookies in there. How is this my problem? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you ate your way in, you can walk your way out. All right? And just slowly start shedding the pounds. Shove some fucking lettuce in there instead of a bunch of ho-hos. And it's, it's going to come down. And then you're on my side of the fence, right? Join me. Come on, say it with me. Shame. Shame. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I forgot how good he was. Yeah, that was what, class. Oh, man. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly why Bill Burr is the best. Yeah. Yeah. He really, for me, is the best. I know we've got Chappelle's and yeah. Patrice's and people like that, but Bill oh, Burr so He's right up there, me. isn't he? He really is. Yeah, that's shame, I, don't, I don't have a, I've, I've changed my, my thing on this. I don't have a best. I have a table of 10. Yeah. Who's, who's sat around? I, I'd say that. I think it depends what they're doing at the time, doesn't mm. it? And depends what sketch yeah. they're doing or what, uh, what they're talking about. But. I think up until maybe six months ago, I would, I'd say they're the best, or mm. this is my top ten, mm. this is my top five. Actually, you're right. You know, we've done that many good comics mm. recently yeah. that I'd never even heard of Cat Williams until yeah. a few no, months ago. And he's ago. been absolutely amazing. I won the bet on Cat Williams, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, we need oh, to yeah, start doing that. that yeah, I kept that in the top pocket, ready to. F <laughs> no, I bet you did. I bet you got another one out. as well, haven't you? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a, it's yeah, such it's a good beast, class. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I know, you're not supposed to shame. You're not supposed to fat shame. You're not supposed to slut shame. They're like shaming, shaming. Like you're not supposed to walk around with any shame. It's like a legitimate human emotion, but you're not supposed to feel it at all. You know, you're supposed to just walk around like a dictator. Just no, not, you're not going to feel any shame. You never felt shame. You never had a, such a bad fucking night the next morning. You, you, you woke up, you couldn't even look yourself in the mirror. <laughs> you went to go brush your teeth. You looked up, you're like, oh, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, even you, that was bad. Lights out, curtains drawn until at least two in the afternoon before I can even look at you, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to have no shame. 
That's the new world. You're just going to walk around sucking dick, you know, eating cookies and just show up. And nobody's supposed to say anything. No one's supposed to have an opinion like, wow, that's, that's going to go off the rails pretty soon. <laughs> I've got a mate. I think you might have met him. I think I know you've met him. Um, yeah. And he looks like Bill Burr. Yeah. And every time I meet him now, I, I'm kind of expecting him to be Bill Burr. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like, then when he's talking, I'm like, can you look at someone yeah. like, that's, that's not how you sound. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not as funny as Bill. <laughs> no, he won't be. I know, it's probably mean to do this stuff, but like, you can only have so much sympathy. There's so much, so much stuff you can care about. You know what happened to me that changed my life? I did a gig in India, right? Unbelievably great people, but some of the stuff that I saw there, I'll never forget. I literally, I did a gig in India. I saw a toddler take a shit between two parked cars, walked away, no pants or parents, and then disappeared into the crowd like Hannibal Lecter at the end of Silence <laughs> of the Lambs. <laughs> it's one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever seen in my life. And then I come back to my country and it's like, oh, the studio said I lose 15 pounds to star in a movie. Well, then start running, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's your big complaint life. <laughs> You know, what it, you know what it is? You know what it is about these fatties? You know what it really is? <laughs> they have no respect for the amount of sacrifice and dedication it takes to truly get in like magazine level shape, which is the, you ever try to get abs? You ever try to get all the abs and get that shit down here? You ever try to do it? It's fucking impossible. <laughs> Past the age of 19, you can't do it without tons of help. You gotta buy all these exercise tapes. You gotta read about nutrition. You gotta get a personal trainer having you fucking running along. You need like, your own chef. And he's like, okay, don't eat it yet. Don't eat it yet. All right, now, don't eat it. Start consuming it. All right, stop. Slow down, stop, stop. Spit it out. Spit it out. I told you to stop. Get on the electrical. Now you like that Brussels sprout? Did you like that Brussels sprout? Stop paying for it. It's a fucking miserable experience. Just walking around, your whole body's eating yourself. You know, you want some cake? No. No, just take a salad. Balsamic vinaigrette on the side, no croutons. Oh my God. Wait, it's the photo shoot. I want to kill myself. It's horrible. You ever try to get fat? No. You don't have to. It's effortless. You can fucking lay on your back watching your favorite show just shoveling shit down your throat. Oh, you know Jesus. I'm getting fat. I'm getting fat. You got a trainer? Don't need one. Gotcha. He's been watching me, hasn't he? Oh, oh, funny. Have we not seen this yet? Uh, I don't know. Oh, man. I have no idea. There's a couple of segments of it I've seen. Mm. There, that that bit that rant he did about the uh, nutritionist shouting at you and get on your lips yeah. I've seen that little bit love you right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like that Brussels sprout yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, angry Bill Burr it's just it's so hard to beat it's a it? sight to see isn't it it yeah. really is yeah I just eat everything that makes my sugar salt go like yeah mm. woo mm. yeah <laughs> comes right in nice roll of fucking flab <laughs> No, it's ridiculous. Like, I know nobody wants to be fat, so I'm not shitting you on any about that. But don't fucking come at me like it's my problem and I need to fucking rewire myself. No, you're overweight, okay? There's plenty of things that can help you out. This is, everybody's got something to deal with. I'm a fucking lunatic with my temper. This is something I have to deal with. I do. You know, you, you can't fucking stop eating pork chops. That's something you have to fucking deal with. I don't have to completely rewire myself. You know what it is? It's just a bunch of sixes pissed off that they're not getting treated like a 10. You know, at some point, you just got to acknowledge what you are. You're a six. I'm sorry. All right. Nobody jerks off to a six. <laughs> Unless you work with them. You work with them, you know. You've got that one outfit, you know, it just does something for you. <laughs> you work in close quarters, so there's, you know what a shampoo smells like? There's an intimacy. There's an intimacy there. All right. I don't know what women rub one out to, but I know it ain't me. Right? <laughs> this is a fantasy. That's what I don't feel bad about trashing them. It's like, yeah, this is all coming from, I'm a strong five. All right? That's where I am. So I still feel like I'm punching up here. You know? Honestly, people, I'm a bald, red-headed male. You don't think there's a glass ceiling on the kinds of parts I can get in Hollywood? Really? 
<laughs> you think I'm ever going to be the lead in a romantic comedy? <laughs> that ain't happening to you if I'm booking the movie. I want to make the money back. <laughs> That's the thing. That's, it's show business. There's a million dollars on this film, okay? We're trying to make fucking money. You just want to show up with fucking crumbs on the side of your face? <laughs> Show up in shape, looking as fuckable as possible, know your lines, ready to work. It's called being a professional, right? <laughs> Dude, Ben Stiller had abs and meet the parents. There was no reason for him to do that. He just knew, I'm going to take my fucking shirt off. I don't want to get trashed. <laughs> he was shredded. Yeah, go be a fucking postman. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. All right. He's right though. There's no dad bods in Hollywood, is there? No. There's either no. the fat actor or the everyone else is just in amazing shape, and no one's just kind of normal. Yeah, no. that's true. Yeah, yeah. I can't think of anyone. Not the top it's of just not, And to be fair, I get it. Like you know, if I was booking a movie, and not that I'm an actor, but yeah, if I was going to be shirtless yeah. in it, I'd be, I'd be waking up would, doing yeah. a thousand crunches That's every day. Make an effort, wouldn't you? Yeah, get yeah. The best shape you could yeah. to get into your dad bod. <laughs> to get into my dad bod. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> no, you know what it is. This is just the ramblings of someone who's sliding into the back nine of his life, and I'm not understanding half the shit that's going on. You know. But you know one of the big things that really made me feel old was when McDonald's started making salads. <laughs> that literally ripped my heart out. I'm like, they're, they're doing what? what? Now they have wraps, and they're doing all of this shit. You know what it was? Was I shape people complain to them. That you're like, oh, you don't have any healthy options. It's like, dude, this is McDonald's. This shit is poison. Who the fuck comes here to get in shape? <laughs> Whenever I get McDonald's, I have a whole plan. At my age, I'm 48 years old. I know what I'm going to order. I'm going to go in there. It's going to taste great. 20 minutes later, I'm going to want to kill myself. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. I'm going to the gym tomorrow. No matter how much I say that, I woke up the demon in me. I woke up the demon, and all that grease is just coursing through my veins. And no matter how much I want to go to the gym, there's going to be this other voice going, dude, get an Egg McMuffin. Get an Egg McMuffin. I'm going to sit up like the Manchurian candidate. Okay, we're going to McDonald's. It's my in shape. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, don't you? I don't know. You order fucking, like, fucking wraps and salads from McDonald's. I've never had a salad from McDonald's. Yeah, you order wraps. You order, like, you order them like proper off piece, like oh, no, McDonald's is Big Mac cheeseburger. That's it. I get a chicken Fucking legend. Nothing I know why. <laughs> <laughs> Makes no sense whatsoever because it's actually chicken breast and not like eyeballs and lips. Yeah. You point. get a Big Mac, and then when the, <clears throat> the only time you don't get a Big Mac, you're gonna get a double cheeseburger. You're the on double the side. Big Macs on. <laughs> <laughs> you want a chicken Big Mac? Yeah, I didn't like it. That's what happens when you change. I know. <laughs> when uh, you're adventurous. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, he's definitely one of them that I was like, uh, I'll have a, my son does it when I say, do you want McDonald's? We'll stop at McDonald's on the way home from football or whatever. And he'll go, yeah. yeah, can you get me a barbecue bacon chicken wrap? I'm like, nope. You can go and ask for that yourself. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. And he goes, go through the drive through I'm like, no, we're getting out. You're going to go and ask for that. Yeah. No way am I asking for it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Voice is in the back going, no, what are we doing? Go to the gym. And I just, <laughs> I'm drive right now. Right? I know what it is. But somehow, out of shape people somehow got that made them, they're the fucking blame. They had to have more healthy shit because they're the reason why everybody's fat. How come they have to do it? What about Ben and Jerry's? How come they don't have to put a little kale in their ice cream? Why is that? Oh, because you're a couple of hippies, man. They're like making ice cream. They're going after big bad McDonald's. You know, it's just, who the fuck goes to McDonald's to get in shape? And don't give me that horse shit that eating healthy is, 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 is expensive. It isn't. Go to a fucking supermarket. They're throwing the vegetables at you. Here's celery. Get it the fuck out of here. <laughs> 70 cents. 25 cents for a banana. Whatever the fuck you want. Get it out of here. <laughs> the fuck goes bad. <laughs> no, it's fucked up. They somehow convinced them that, that, you know, McDonald's is the reason why I'm out of shape. I would have got a salad, but you didn't have the option, so I was like, well, I guess I gotta get 52 Big Macs! <laughs> Thanks a lot, McDonald's! I was like, dude, you're an adult. It's not their job to babysit you. They're a fucking business. If you order 50 sandwiches, they're gonna give it to you. It's your job to not do it, you fucking dope. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I know. <laughs> Dude, McDonald's, 
McDonald's exists for two reasons, okay? It's for drunk people and it's for children, all right? That's what this thing is. You know, you're in your car, your kids won't shut the hell up, you go to the drive-thru. You go to the drive-thru, you get a couple of poison burgers, you throw it down their throats, their little systems can't handle it. They start, <laughs> they start nodding off. <laughs> You're up front, you're bigger, you can handle a bigger <laughs> dose of poison, you know what I mean? What a- Pop in your Death Leopard cassette, you have a little <laughs> moment for yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's for. The amount of times I've done that on a Saturday with the kids, yeah, take them to the drive through. But I'm exactly happy the meal, same. please. <laughs> yeah, a couple of happy meals, I get a load and then get on the couch and I'm asleep within minutes. And yeah, uh, they stay awake, they'll watch a movie or whatever. And really? I'll be, <laughs> stay tuned for more parents in Simpson D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I used to do it with my kids. Then they never took them at McDonald's. I used to take them at Hooters. And they do like a colouring contest. So I'd like take them in, colouring box each. Probably them sit there and we'd have the spicy chicken. And then wow. uh, you know, we'd sit there and yeah. uh, enjoy the, the scenic views of Hooters. <laughs> nice. nice. That's, I've been there myself, but yeah. is it just an American thing, is it? No, no, they're all over the world. Hooters. Really? Someone uh, actually asked me for it to invest them and get one over here the other day. They? Yeah. It got, um, it got, one of them got blocked a few years ago, didn't it, by the local council? Over here, oh, it may really? have been Wales. Yeah. Actually, I've not seen one over here. I, I, think, over here. I think there may be one mm. or two, but mm. there's this consensus that it's a strip club, mm. even though you're allowed strip clubs. Yeah. So, yeah, um, it's yeah. Not a strip club. It's a restaurant. No, I know it is, but councils keep getting behind, you know, sacking it off because it's, yeah. you know, all but, although they'll be the first ones there <clears throat> in the open. Oh, of course, inspection. Yeah, not. to Lord yeah. Mayor there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, five year inspection, no doubt. Yeah. It's for your kids. And it's for drunk people. Like how many times <clears throat> have you driven out to a bar going, I'm just going to have one. All of a sudden you had like 11, right? <laughs> and you're hammered and you're thinking, but you know, but you're responsible. You're drunk, but you're responsible. You're like, God damn it. I drove my car here tonight. God damn it. I'm driving it up. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to burden this place of business by taking up a parking space in this completely empty parking lot for the next six hours. <laughs> I am not advocating drinking and driving, but I will tell you, there's nothing better than when all your friends and family know you're hammered. There's nothing better than that walk to the car. It's incredible. Women are screaming, people tearing at your clothes. You feel like you're in the Beatles. Oh my God, no! You're like, no autographs! Sorry, I have to go! Get him off me! <laughs> <laughs> and you, you get in the car, and everybody's screaming, get in the fucking car, you're fine, I had a car eight years, I know, I can almost see my house, just get in the fucking car, you gotta make the cops come, get in the fucking car, I swear to God, just get in the fucking car, oh, take your seatbelt off, you fucking Mary, <laughs> 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 and then what happens? <laughs> you get out on the road, you realize you're way more hammered than you thought. <sighs> Who was always there for you? McDonald's with the drive through The 24-hour drive through you could just pull in and hide in plain sight, right? And that little sad traffic jam of divorcees, <laughs> shame, people who go to Comic-Con, right? You just pull in. You just stop. You can take a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> they fade into all three of them categories. <laughs> Comic Con. <laughs> wow. Do you not go Comic Con? No, fuck I thought, that. Was, I thought it was right up your street. No, I've never done anything like that in my life. Oh, I thought it was. Sorry. No, I'm not Sorry, a nerd. nerd. <laughs> like, damn, thank you. Thank you. Right. Incidentally, do have friends that go to Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a backtrack on and just said, I'm not a nerd. <laughs> you pull around. That's what it was all about. And now all of a sudden, they're the reason this country's out of shape, you know? They've had McDonald's my whole life. People weren't this fucking fat, right? It's not their fault. You can't pin it on them. But McDonald's fucked up. They fucked up because they gave in to out of shape people. And they said, all right, fine, fine. It's our fault. We'll start making salads. And then they got on their heels. They got on their heels. Everybody sensed it. And now look at them, okay? Four or five years later, now they got to make, make breakfast all day, right? Because <laughs> you know what happened? All the potheads showed up going, well, hey, man, if you're going to make him a salad, like, <laughs> what if I want, like, a breakfast thingy, and it's, like, it's not breakfast, like, you're going to hook him up, but you're not going to hook me up? That's, 
That's like food racism or something, man. I, I just don't understand. Like, fine, we'll start making we'll make the breakfast. They just completely lost their way. I swear to God, dude, if I was running that corporation, this is what I would do. You know what I would do? I'd bring that clown back. All right? <laughs> I bring the clown back, okay, and I, I just have that thing. Just look right down the barrel of the camera. Have a little bit of dry ice in the background. You just come right in tight on his face. And he just looks right in the camera and just goes, look. If you can't get your fat ass down here <laughs> by 10.30 in the morning, you're getting a burger. <laughs> 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 I'm not making pancakes at three o'clock in the afternoon because you just blow all night with your friends. And you just <laughs> Sounds like my mom when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> just getting your shit together, all right? Make no mistake, this is a burger joint. It's always been a burger joint. We did that breakfast thing as a favor, you know? We're just trying to freak out IHOP. Ooh, ooh, we're doing it too. We're doing it too. Your own mother won't make you pancakes at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, okay? <laughs> so get your fat ass or your drugged up ass down here before 10.30. We decide. It's our place. We tell you what the fuck we're making, all right? That's it. Take him out. And he pushes a kid on a swing. Something nice. So. Oh, absolute class. Oh, brilliant. Hey. Oh, I needed that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely needed that. Absolutely superb. Mm, Top just, draw. I don't think there's a higher level comedy no, than that. That's no. just exactly what I there's, want out of comedy. Yeah. There, there, there is a level, like you say, a top table level, and that's up there. That's of course it is. Yeah. You know? yeah. But that was absolutely hysterical. He's absolutely brilliant, isn't he? Really, it's every, every time. It's I so love good. that. I love that little bit of bad language he throws in when he calls people, you fat fuck, or yeah. you know, whatever. That's just... That's just uh, the. Taking a someone piss at the dope. highest. Oh, it's great. Just, dope. Yeah, I know. Yeah, just yeah. things like that at the time. And the yeah. tone of his voice is absolutely brilliant. And it's just what? the anger comes across brilliantly. When he called some imaginary person a Mary. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know that was a different word when he was working that yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 There's, yeah. A, there's a word that he used to say <laughs> yeah. in his comedy yeah. a bit that he's even backtracked on yeah. now. And it's I like, can yeah, imagine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just an insult people used in Boston. Yeah. We, we <laughs> yeah. know what it was, don't we? Yeah. 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 That was class, that though. I really enjoyed oh, that. So enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Hope you Loved guys it. enjoyed that too. Don't forget, like and subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.